I'm going to. Please be seated, says the president. Le president. The court is now in session. L'audience est reprise. To continue its proceedings. Now the chamber hands over to the defense counsel for Nguyen Chia. La chambre donne maintenant la parole à la défense de Nguyen Chia. To present two documents at the chamber has already been reached. You may now proceed, counsel. Vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, before I forget, uh, I would like to note for the record and also for the public that yesterday we filed a, a motion for disqualification against uh, Judge Cartwright for remarks made in the media in New Zealand. Um, the documents. Uh, I will be very brief. Uh, uh, your decision today has made it uh, uh, impossible for me Votre décision uh, to present our documents in a coherent and uh, logical way. Les documents de façon logique et cohérente, uh, impossible. Nguyen Chia maintains, as he has done in the past, that sa he has the right to be tried under Cambodian law in conformity with international law, and that under Cambodian law he has the right to submit et en documents du droit cambodien, il a le droit until the end de of the trial. I am not going to present quotes out of the two documents which you allow me to present today and leave out the other four. Uh, I think that such an approach, uh, selective or random quoting out of those two documents, uh, will not enlighten the public, as was the aim of this week's uh, hearings, but it will only confuse it. Uh, we will therefore wait for your decision on the document list, and I'm sure it will be the right one. Our document solicit, uh, submitted on the 31st of January, and um, uh, I'm sure and convinced that you will allow us eventually to present all of our documents relevant, relevant for the historical context, uh, and we will wait for instructions on the date when we are allowed to do so. Um, I will cede the floor to my colleague, Jasper Pau, uh, who will use the remainder of the day to discuss some related topics, uh, the historical context, the importance thereof, and um, uh, uh, make some remarks on your intentions to close in between brackets or uh, um, uh, inverted commas to close the historical context, the segment on the historical context. Thank you very much. The question of the Chamber has decided to close or to close this session, this session of the process for the context historic.
The chamber directs that the defense counsel for Nunchia present two documents. One demande is donc the two two slash one point one seven, and another document is the three one three slash one point two point two. Point two. Point two. Other documents that the defense counsel for Nunchia intends to place before the chamber. Are pending the decision from Les the chamber. documents sont visés par la décision pendante de la chambre. The chamber will inform the chamber about the date of its decision concerning the four remaining documents on a later date. Documents en temps utile. If, however, the defense counsel for Nguyen Chia wishes to si la defense present any other documents concerning the historical background of democratic Campuchia, the defense team can submit in writing their request to the chamber. Par écrit Nonetheless, auprès de la chambre. if the defense team do not use the time provided by the chamber si la défense today, choisit de ne pas utiliser le temps, the defense team will not have another chance to louer, present the two documents. Elle pas d'autres possibilités pour présenter les deux documents. Mentionné précédemment. And in order to even further clarify the matter, judgment can take the floor. I'm afraid there was a translation issue again. When the president referred to the option to file written submissions, the idea is not written submissions to introduce new documents, but written submissions concerning um, whatever oral submissions the defense had in mind re uh, regarding the historic background. So we are not inviting new document lists at that point in time. Sur le contexte and the second part, I think, was clear. Nous ne pas the chamber sur de has decided la that for those two documents, which have been identified, it's either today or never. Peut, la peut les the discussion or the presentation. Ou jamais. -dire la discussion, la présentation de ces documents se fera aujourd'hui. Um, as I said, I will cede the floor today to. Um, Comme je dit, je uh, uh, my colleague, Jasper Pau, la à mon confrère, uh, Jasper there's not Pau. much time left today Il to uh, wrap up this uh, week de of discussions on the documents. I would just like to uh, 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 note that, of course, we have the right to discuss these documents. Uh, bien le there will be final or documents. closing arguments. Il y aura uh, and if we're not allowed to do that uh, si in between, then we will do it at le faire the end of the trial. Avant nos plaidoiries, nous le ferons à la fin du procès. The President, International Co Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, two, two points. Uh, 
Um, first, I, I'm not sure what they have planned if they're not going to present documents. The only purpose of the hearings today was to present documents. If they're not going to do that, uh, we would object uh, to whatever else they, they have in mind. Uh, second, because uh, these hearings have a public purpose and because uh, the new state defense are suggesting by their comments that somehow they're uh, being deprived uh, 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 unfairly of the opportunity to present these documents. Uh, I would wish to just quickly address why it is that the prosecution objected uh, to the four, four documents, if the chamber wishes to hear. Uh, if not, uh, I simply wish to say that we object to, object to anything other than presentation of documents today. Que des documents aujourd'hui. Uh, I object. We, we are not allowed to make oral submissions on this issue. Je the same goes for the cela. prosecution. Objection. Nous ne pouvons déposer, uh, faire d'observation orale sur cette question, et cela vaut aussi pour l'accusation. The President, uh, Council for Nguyen Chi, are you willing to Conseil present uh, the two documents that, um, that we already discussed uh, this afternoon? I already explained that uh, I don't feel I'm able to do so in an effective and logical way. I will not do that today. The President, thank you. Council, you exercise your right not to present the documents today. And as scheduled, the Chamber notes that we should conclude today's session by now. Que nous aurions dû and that tomorrow que, enfin, session que prévu, will be resumed by 9 o'clock. The President, Council for Nontia, you may proceed. Thank you, uh, Mr. President, Your Honours, everybody in and around the courtroom. Good afternoon. I have an issue that uh, needs to be raised today or at the latest uh, tomorrow, but it needs to be discussed. And it has to do with the simple fact that uh, your trial chamber has announced that you will be closing the segment of this trial that relates to historical context, context. and the new chair defense team has numerous submissions to make on this issue and it boils down to one simple point we will ask you not to close this segment of historical context yet. We think that there are numerous important issues that have not been discussed um, as part of the discussion of the historical context as conducted by a trial chamber so far, and we would like to have room to speak about these issues 
in open court where the public can hear us because some of these issues have been addressed in some written filings. As my colleague Mr. Pesman has said, the public does not read these filings. We need to discuss more thoroughly certain historical components of this trial. At this point, I will be very brief to um, give you an opportunity to respond to this submission, but very simply put, we state that what is very relevant when considering the facts of this case is to study and more properly discuss what happened in Cambodia in the years between 1970 and 1975. We state that when you assess the acts of a leader, uh, when you assess the acts of our client, Mr. Nguyen Chia, it simply matters whether his country, Cambodia, has just been destroyed for years on end by American B-52 bombers. And when assessing the acts of a leader, it simply matters whether he takes control over a blossoming and healthy city or rather a city that's on the brink of starvation. In short, we cannot understand the acts and possibly the inactions of the leaders of the DK regime if we do not also look at the historical and sociological context in which they had to operate. I want to refer to international case law. The President, uh, the Chamber has already ruled on this and you are not allowed to touch upon this in this uh, courtroom because we asked you to submit uh, such statement in writing. The Chamber ruled that today session would conclude. We the noted that you on your feet or raised your hand enfin, and we thought that you would be very brief and that brief already. The session is now adjourned. Tomorrow session will be resumed by 9 a.m. Security personnel are now instructed to bring all the accused persons to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom before 9 a.m.